In this video, we will learn how to generate bill of material from CCAD schematic. CCAD is a free tool and it's very easy to use, but you need to know a few things to be able to generate a bill of material from CCAD schematic. Let's say we have a this CCAD schematic that we have shown how to generate in previous video. What we want to do is let's say we have a component called R1 and we want all the details of R1 included in the bill of material. We double click this. This is the reference designator R1, its value and its footprint. And then let's say for the moment we don't want data sheet. We certainly want a part number for this register and right now I have done this to be done one. We also possibly want a manufacturer for this. I write manufacturer and let's say we want the part to be Panasonic part and then we need a description of this. Let's call it description. And then I can write here resistor 0603, maybe 5%. And, and to find the part number, I can go to digikey. and search for Panasonic resistor 0603 and 330 ohms that's the value of okay. it. So pan list out the this resistor part number I select from here 330 ohm Apply filter. You can you can use one percent if you want to, but for now it's five percent. So that's the this is showing O O two one. So we want O six O three, and then let's say this is our part number for Panasonic. I paste it in my notepad and from here I copy it and then go to my schema and then give it a part number right here and I click OK. I do the same thing in the D1 diode, add a part number and then I do not know, you can go and search it and then manufacturer and then I add a description maybe LED 0603 surface mount green that's okay and same thing for G1 So I do and then edit if I double click like this and symbol property I go and add same thing here part number uh, manufacturer I call it some Chinese connectors and then I add description some cheap Chinese two pin header part number DVD one now once we have done those things I can maybe 
copy paste right here if I copy paste it does not copy the fields as well so we'll have to do that as well but anyway now once I have all the fields here I can go to tools and create bill of materials so the one that you want to select is B2M group by CSV and this this is a script file but unfortunately this script file has few missing things uh, for example it does not have the details of the part number of uh, part number manufacturer and description so what we do is we go to this directory called uh, plugin slash scripting slash plugins and then we select this file called group by bomb to group CSV and then I copy it and then I paste it here I give it a name something like bomb to group CSV uh, my file my script And then I, I, I go there and then add this one, KiCad, KiCad or KiCad, whatever we want. Go to scripting, plugins, and then select the one that you used. And then you go to that plugin, my script, add it with the edit it here and what you want to do here is just add the new fields that you that you added somewhere maybe we don't need the data sheet but we want part number and we want manufacturer and finally we want um, description that will printed somewhere at the top and then right here where we take all those values we copy three fields into three one of them is part number then we have manufacturer and then and last we have description let me just save this one and come back to the script and then I just click on generate this so we have this success and we can check it right here it generates a file called led underscore project underscore cat and it does not have any extension we can edit it with a notepad which has something like this you can see that we have all those fields here the part number for example for the register this is the footprint and then few empty fields and then the, the description you can see this manufacturer name and the part number uh, it's fast because we yeah this is part number this manufacturer and this description you could possibly get rid of this un not required field anything that we don't need for example could be some other unknown field so you can see some of these things are repeated and that's something you will have to figure it out and fix it but and then you can import this whole thing in an excel sheet to be able to do that so this is how you generate the bill of material you make your own system what fields you want to keep and what you don't want to keep 
generate that fill of material.